imagine that him collecting did a lot of good. Yeah, I'm just gonna collect again. Maybe we just did something right. It's short bounce to cash. I haven't been enjoying my trade. Yeah, I'm doing well. Look at that. That was good. Oh yeah, I should declare one Molly. Take the book. Oh my, they have a lot more forces this time. Doesn't matter. Dead. We have allies too. Sagu. Dead. Done. Oh, we are in a negative. Autonomo Bay is now self sustaining. Colonize Moron and Jamaica. Good. These are some really high tax provinces. Revolt and St. Martin. Uh, ignore them, we'll get 10 regiments. We'll be able to fight that. That's easy, just minus 10%, that's nothing. Religious unity. Oh, it's just making too much money, that's such a stupid rule. How does tax have to do anything with, like, people's willingness to convert? I mean, maybe it's, like, how much they believe their god is doing for them. That's the only way I could really justify that. And still, I don't know. It's just, it's just religion's more about money, I think. I don't know. Then again, completely getting a like a huge area to follow the same faith is, or majority of the same faith is kind of weird. At least the way it's done by paradox here. Good. Molly sieges will all fail before mine do. I should assault. It's great news. Oh, they're revolting a moron. Okay. Havana into a core. Um, just gonna make so much more money from colonizing Americas. All the best land seems to be gone. Hmm. Let's take this little now. I'll think about where to send this guy. Maybe I'll send him somewhere in Africa. Okay, you, Maui. Oh, uh, you would not be a vassal. Or you would not like to be vassaled. Vassalized. So we put a core in Bambuk, which is actually a really smart idea because it's a large tax province, though it's gonna be a butt to convert. Bamboof and Wolof, and then next war we should be able to finish them off or vassalize them at least. Even if our claim is costing us an ungodly amount to uh, core that. Good. 
Oh no, it's Magdalena. Okay. How is that getting up with Durgastan or whatever? Maga. Objectives. Where is this? M A G D. Oh, I'm spelling it wrong, probably. That's a decent area, yeah. We'll settle there. Split in half here. And go to our South American lands here. Atlantic Shock Warrior. There's no training whatsoever in defense there, maybe. Some horrible defensive units, is basically all I was saying. Which is not good, actually. It means we're gonna have to primarily be on the offensive here if we wanna have the advantage in battle. Okay, we've completed our mission. Now let's do one of these colonial ones, turning something into a city or whatever. Um, Jamaica's close, and so is War on. Yeah, Castile is. Um, Going into the actual North American continent, which is fine by me. I'll, you can have North America, I'll just let me do my southern and whatnot, or my southern Caribbean stuff. Oh yes, we need to maintain our tariff still. That's been constantly degrading. So our force limit just doesn't want to go up. Regardless, some more of these ships I think will be worth it. Let me check how exactly that means. Just cost me a flat rate of 0.60 or 0.60 per ship. Because if it's per ship, I don't care. That they pay for itself. You know what? I'm pretty sure it would just be wise to spam caravels. they are going to pay for themselves and if not we can kick Castile's butt in light ships and Castile is definitely kicking my butt in heavy ships so I will I am forced to continue go in the to continue to go in the hole on uh, these ships I must be on par with them navally. This might not be a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. I 
No, this was a po horrible idea on my part. Oh, gosh. What was I thinking? Tariffs. Yeah, that just equals a little bit of money. Okay. We're just so far over the force limit, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. At least no one will, everyone will know not to mess with Atlantis. And what we can do with this is create a separate trade fleet. I'm just going to assemble them all over here. So we can probably squeeze some uh, dough out of the Caribbean, and I also have a fleet in the that's actually capable in the um, North America. Yeah, the Caribbean's our second most profitable region. Integrate Moron is an Atlantean core. It's being worked on, I believe. No, it's not. That's not good. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. So, are you going to convert? Nope. That's what I thought. Hmm. Still got a Carrick on the way. Oh, and Castile's beating up on Morocco. So is Aragon. I hope they're not in a PU with uh, Castile. I'd like Aragon to remain free as long as possible. Oh my gosh. What? All our gold provinces, all of our gold provinces are making us ridiculous bank. I'm just gonna say this was a result of the ships. A genius. We must take this guy and expand the Atlantean race. Oh, on you. Hopefully, they know we're smart enough to repair. I think they are. Caracas, Cumana. Oh, that's got a lot of natives. We're going to definitely need to bring in a guy for that. Still squeezing a lot of money out of our gold supply, apparently. Can't help but cringe at. Yeah, it's, our inflation's pretty bad. Is there any guy you can help with that? Nope. Alright. On positive, we've almost annexed uh, one African nation. And we should fabricate another claim on Mali. I need 
to colonize something. Um, let's go over here. I think I've got plenty of, yeah, my land force limit has gone up considerably. Let's build some cannon for this army. This is our primary force. Slow process. So, nope, we don't want you. No. Don't need all this shock inventory. Nope. Nope. Let's start converting these guys. All right, cool. No diplomats to send, and we're in a Regency Council, which is not good. Did not realize we were in our Regency Council. I think he'll ascend to the throne when he's 16. Or 18. Salt our rival. <laughs> Futa Jalen. That's a lot of diplo points that's not happening. Ah, uh, what the heck will do it. Spend some money, and I know wow. Well. Anywhere else? Uh, that's not a great province, though. go. Money invested. We should save our money for the tech upgrades. Steel is actually on par with us almost. That is not ideal. <laughs> Steel rush to compete with my navy. But we have the same force limit, which is good. A lot of our armies, though. A lot of artillery, which I don't know if that's the greatest mix in this era. Doesn't really matter, though. They could just overwhelm me. I really need an ally, but there's none that I can know about. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. I need to find allies. Let's explore Europe. I'm thinking we should find support in the way of Britain or France. But they, I don't know if they'll be willing to help us. Overseas income. Yeah, let's get the colonial enthusiasm. Okay, we found France. They are a little adverse to us because of our religion. Understandable. Okay. There's Brittany. Dead. Okay, now I know about England. So. 
uh, they're both Catholic. Though I know France will end up being more powerful because they always are crazy in this game. If we ever need someone to beat up on Spain, France is your guy. Arc of Steel in this case. Do they have any relations to France? No. France does not is neutral towards them. Which is good. Yay, we can now declare one to Mali. Under Mali, Mali, just Mali. Allied of Canaan Baru. I'm scared. There's their stack. That's silly. You're trying to try to siege us. I would not be doing that. Good. Good. They just got two other guys somehow, but whatever. It doesn't matter much. I don't think they're going to beat us to the siege. And if they do, we can just send some guys their way. 